Deandra, I spent way too long yakking with Tanisha over lunch. She couldn't stop talking about Pedro Pietri, the poet Mr. Ward had invited to visit our class. He was coming in a couple of weeks, and Tanisha said he was going to rock the house. He was the only poet Mr. Ward had us read who we who we were actually going to meet, which was pretty cool. Tanisha could hardly wait to check him out. I had other things on my mind, though, so I was glad Tyrone came over and broke up the conversation. He started hitting on Tanisha as usual. I whispered, sorry, and took off. Ten more minutes and Mr. Ward will be in here. I flipped my sketchbook, sketchbook open to a fresh page, clip my father's photo to the corner, and get busy. A few strokes of my pencil and the oval of his face is done. Then I start with his chin. I don't know why. Maybe because the hardness is there and I want to get it out of the way. Hurry on to the softer parts of his face. The parts that show love. I've never done a portrait from the bottom to the top before. But why not? As long as it looks like my father when I'm done. The first bell rings. I lift my head and there's Sterling staring over my shoulder. Hey. Hey. I lean back so he can get a better look. I just started this one, I tell him. Other kids file in, so I gather up my charcoal pencils. Raul swirls his brushes in a jar of water and finishes straightening up Mr. Ward's desk. I catch his eye, and we smile at each other. He's part of the reason I don't mind people looking at my drawings anymore. I guess I should give Tanisha some credit, too. It was her bright idea to have those book, have me do those book report covers. The day we got our reports back, Mr. Ward held mine up so everyone could see the cover. I tried evaporating on the spot, I swear. The last thing I wanted was extra attention. Too late. When class was over, I ran out of the room before anyone had a chance to laugh in my face. But Raul caught me in the hall and snatched the report from me quicker than the subway door slamming shut. He said he wanted to get a better look at it. I bit my tongue and stared at the floor. This is good, he said, especially the eyes. They look right through you. You gotta show me how you do the eyes. My, do my jaw dropped. You think they're that good? You're kidding, right? Raul didn't wait for an answer. He handed me back the report, shaking his head. Wish I could do eyes like that. Anyway, see you later. I looked down at my book cover as if I was seeing it for the first time. Raul was right. The drawing was good. The eyes did look right through you. Maybe I should try working on the rest of the face, I thought. I could do studies of mouths and chin, noses and chins. I could try different kinds of faces, different shapes. I could get mom to model for me or Tanisha or I could use pictures. We only have a bazillion photo albums around my house. Maybe I could bring one of them to school with me. Or I could just borrow a few of the pictures and then put them back later. Maybe. I had a hard time concentrating on my classes that afternoon. The next day I wolfed down my lunch and half ran to Mr. Ward's room with a sketch pad and charcoal pencils. By the time Raoul arrived, I was already at work. Nowadays I'm here two, three times a week. I'd come more often but I gotta make time for my friends. I shade in my father's jawline just as Mr. Ward enters the room, then put my pencil down and look up in case he tries to catch my eye. Mr. Ramirez, says Mr. Ward, may I have my desk, please? Raul bows deep like some actor in an old time movie, then struts to his seat. He passes me on the way, leans down, eyes my rough sketch and whispers, let me know when you get to the eyes. His smile is so wide. My, my smile is so wide, my cheeks hurt. Open Mic, High Dive by Deandra Jordan. A trip to the city pool ain't what it used to be. I left the kiddie pool behind many moons ago. I know how to float, how to dog paddle, how to hold my breath between breaststrokes. I know the stench and sting of chlorine. It's no big thing, but this, scaling the ladder for the high dive, drives me to distraction. What if I forget to swim? What if there's no water in the pool? But wait, is it really water I'm after? I reach the top, pad to the edge of the board and peek. There it is, swirls of blue, purple, and periwinkle watercolor. The perfect palette. I take a deep breath, dip the tip of my brush into the sky, take one long leap, and to be continued. Tyrone. I've been thinking we should plan on having a poetry slam next year. I ran the idea past Deandra. She's one of the shyest sisters in, a, in our class. At least she was when school got started. Anyway, I figure if she's into the idea, everybody else should be down with it. 
Next thing I need to do is pitch it to Mr. Ward, see if he can get the principal to go for it. Man, I would love to get in some guys from Bronx Science or one of them other special schools and turn them into toast at a poetry slam. There's no way they'd beat us. They wouldn't even know what hit them.